Hi everyone, Lensman Oz here and this is Pickle Pack Intergalactic Discovery Episode 19. How are you all doing today? I've been not so busy. <laughs> um, well, I guess I have been busy. I, I didn't get to making the uh, Agricraft um, Harvester thing because I still haven't gotten to the, uh, the Capacitor thing. That I was talking about in the previous episode. But I've done a few other little bits and pieces, uh, completed a few other quests, uh, found some ender lily seeds, which I don't think is growing, I'm not sure yet. Uh, in the dungeon over there, I started to go for a hunt. Uh, one of the first levels there found four ender lily seeds, which went sweet, mine, thank you, see ya. Uh, started off the quarry again. What I've done is I've changed the config around a little. Um, and it's now grabbing everything except for like dirt, cobble, gravel, sand, that sort of thing. Because um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to miss something that may not be labelled as ore, if that makes any sense. So there could be all sorts of stuff under here, especially with these um, dungeons around. I'm not sure if it stretches this far over, but when I do eventually maybe move it over there which could be cool if we work out a way of chunk loading it and um, you know, perhaps a dimensional transceiver type thing we can move it over plant it right outside the uh, the dungeon so to speak and harvest it and see what it comes up with which could be quite cool as I know I got these the slime attacked me and I ended up with a melon and a glistening melon which didn't make any sense to me um, really not sure why. All right, so obviously you can see I've I've been a little busy here, so I'll just uh, I was just looking for some food. I might as well just eat the cookies. Okay, let's have a look in the book, in the book. Alrighty, uh, this is nowhere near where it needs to be. Uh, mainly because I'm using the wheat in my little power plant. I am collecting lettuce, but it's not going as fast as I imagine. We're up to 42. How many do we need? Two and a half thousand. Well, 42, that's a special number we all know about. It's meaning a life, isn't it? 42. So it's, it's clicking its way through, I guess very slowly. Um, obviously we're getting some some extra bits and pieces here that probably aren't really required. In this pack the only thing you can use it for unlike oh, I could turn it into hooch I guess. So I may end up perhaps it costs 10,000 RF to do it. Might try and look into that for uh, the use for poisonous potatoes. It is a bit of a downer that that it's been disabled turning it into a a battery but you know these are the tweaks that a mod, mod pack creator does uh, I do need to throw a few more barrels downstairs mainly just to give those other items somewhere to go so I might just see what wood we have I planted a tree there I'm not sure why I planted a tree there I just planted a tree. Um, you know what, I'm going to take this out of here so I don't have to do it again. Let's just get jab up. No, that's not going to work there. Let's put it down here. One, two. I don't know why I've got so many chests in there, but that's fine. I'm going to need some conduits. Let's just grab, grab a couple. Uh, and I didn't mention, you see that thing poking through the... Um, the wall there and you can hear the noise. I didn't mention in the previous episode I actually made up a mechanism uh, wind turbine. And the reason I did that is because uh, with with all the machines running and everything and this little conglomeration that was playing up here my AE system would run out of power so I thought you know what let's just give it its own backup power so to speak. So this is not connected to the network at all. There is no power going to the AE system. It is completely run off this wind turbine. 
which apparently generates a hundred RF per tick. I don't know, but it's it's quite quite good. Should never run out of power again, which is excellent. Uh, Corey is running. We are running off the system, I guess. The um, battery up here, I think, is full. Yep, ten thousand RF, and as you'll see in a second. I've made the uh, the bigger solar panel. Alright, let's just hook up these barrels while I remember. And then it were too many uh, too many cables now. Let's take you and you away. Um, yep, a loop and that. It just gets rid of those other couple of items. Don't know what that was then. A bit of smoke. Uh, the other couple of items that we're building up. Neat. Uh, you can see I placed the other lily pad. Now there was a suggestion to put them here. Um, but at the moment I just threw it there. It, I want this farm to really go a bit faster than it is and ah oh, well that won't work either if that's broken silly me uh, osmium 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 got a bit of that now let's repair the the mattock in you go Harvest away. You hear everything kick off downstairs. <laughs> Alright, let's just sleep. Um, I, I am having an issue getting enough ender pearls. I mean, okay, I'll sleep through the night a bit, but even when endermen are there, uh, they haven't really been dropping ender pearls at all. So it's been a little bit of a, a hard slog making what I've managed to make up. But these things should help with that. Oh, yeah, it's grown. 14 there. There's a mob here somewhere. See it on my radar. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. So let's go back to what I was doing. Firstly, not that. Um, let's grab some hamburgers. And have a bit of a nom. Nom, 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 nom. Okay. Where is my book? Into the uh, the veritable privacy of our house. Okay, so first things first, you might have seen in my inventory there the uh, you know Ender Energy conduits. So vibrant alloy, which include you know is you uses Ender pearls to make it. As I said, I've been struggling a bit. Any single one I get, it gets put straight into here ready for use. So I've made two lots of them there. What are we going to get for that? I'm going to take the bag. Alright, uh, the next thing I have done is as I set upstairs the enhanced solar panel. So solar panel number four which uses four of the number threes. A bit of pulsating iron machine chassis and some photo photovoltaic cells and I'm gonna get two solar panel threes and a reward bag it's still quite handy I've also made the capacity upgrade which actually I think I'll take up All right capacity upgrade let's take him upstairs up here and as I said he's full but you know what? Never hurts to have more than you need. So that'll give us another 160,000 RF. Let's put these two here. So I guess each of these hold 400,000. Oh, 
It's a lot of RF. This one has the um, efficiency upgrade, so it generates 67 RF a tick, whereas these ones only do 64. Right, anyway, sidetracked. Uh, let's claim. I'm taking the bag so I can hear it go wow and give me turnips. I don't know. <laughs> Something terrible. Uh, okay, next thing. Made an octatic capacitor. Made a few of them, I think. Uh, so we got one here. We're going to get another one. I'm not taking the bag on that one. Taking the capacitor. Might be able to swap out the doubles. I don't know what it. Um, so we use 100 R for tick. So you know what? I don't know. It uses 60 R for tick. I think I'll leave it um, out. I'll use that for one of the quests coming up. So they can go in them into here. Let's open our bags up. Wow. Yep. Okay. Can't go in there. That in here. Wow. I got another bag. Hey. Wow. Yeah, solar panel one. Not too bad. It's not completely useless like this one will be. Wow. <laughs> yeah, see? Look at that. Completely useless. Okie dokie. So, I have an Enderman Soul Vial in my inventory, and there is good reason for that. That is due to these ones up here. So, last episode we did the pulsating and the vibrant. This episode, there's these other crystals, which honestly I've never used before. Oh, I've used the end of one. Never heard of the enticing or the weather crystals. Got no idea. So weather crystal, as you can see here, is just one of the vibrants in a shapeless crafting recipe. It turns into a weather crystal. So I already got one of them sitting right here. I have another vibrant in my inventory for the next step. And this enticing one is an emerald and a villager. So I ran over to the village, which is... Oh, you can't see it because it's inside. Hang on, step outside. Uh, village is all the way over here. Ran over there, stole one of their people. So I'm nasty like that. Brought him back, threw him through the soul binder. And I got an enticing crystal, which again, no idea. Oh, a tractor. Okay, so is that from the. At Ender? The obelisks. Ah, it is. There you go. Did not know. Changes of current weather requires a lot of power and a catalyst item. Yeah, I don't see me using them. Uh, the other one I need to make is this. Do, do, do. Just a, the normal in the crystal. Like so, so that's those three. We'll take the less useless of the two rewards. Um, yeah, it, it, it's been a bit different um, if you watched yesterday's episode, the, the one that I made up due to the invention server being down. Um, you, 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 you would know that it was a, uh, a 110.2 pack and it, it is interesting going from 110.2 to 117.10 like this is and um, just the bits and little bits and pieces that are, are different. Um, I still can't get a handle around the, the combat in there but just the bits, you know, there's just minor changes that I've seen. Um, that definitely does make a difference. Wow. So. Okay, dark still ladder. Can I melt them down? Uh, if if you do, I can't melt them down. No, 
Um, yeah, sorry. If 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 you do uh, decide to get into one ten two one, it is a little bit of fun to get it going. But two, once you're there, you it's it's that whole. I don't want to go back now. Um, but we have quests to do in this pack, so this is what we're going to be doing until we finish it. What have we got? Craft the lava generator, which you saw in the inventory this when I first started the episode. Not that. So it looks like that. I just used the furnace generator that was up there. And we have a lava generator. And they gave us 16 buckets of lava to go with it. Which is fine. I don't know whether I'll use them in there or not. Okay, uh, bag. Wow! Excellent. Something I didn't want because who knows what it's going to give me. So I'm going to put these crystals away. I don't want to put them in there. It's just going to take up space that I'm not going to use. Actually, I will use this one. So that can go in here. I will need to capture another Enderman soon. Right. So let's do what we always do about halfway through the episode and go and chuck a couple of these out. Wow. Without falling down the hole would probably be the smartest move. So we've still got these sheep floating around over here and this one... These ones actually change colour. Oh, they're Jeb, Jeb ones. I'll do it. So you know what? Dance floor it is. Oh. Gave me chance cubes. Whoa! That was nasty. Well, the wool's going to catch on fire. Give me that. Run over here and put it in the tank. Oh boy. It's always something fun that it does for me. Come here. Let's go and collect up before it completely lights everything. Oh no, it's too late. It's too late. Sorry, sheepy. Sorry, mate. Have some lava. <laughs> yep, there you go. Jeb tried to swim in lava. Come with me if you want to live. No, no. <laughs> that sheep walked straight into it. Well done, buddy. Well done. Uh, what have we got left? No. I think that's it. Cool. Let's go again. For prosperity's sake. Ah! What the? Um. Oh, really? That's not what I wanted. Oh, oh, oh. It's one way to scare the pants off someone. Spawn a wither. Nasty. I'm taking this quartz. <laughs> taking the quartz, it's mine. All mine. Alright, um Alright, let's just do this. Dr. Treyors. Did that give me anything? No, oh, gave me a fish. Nemo. Um, yeah, whatever, pal. Yep. No. No what? Ah! Not again. Oh, there's water over here, isn't there? Here we go. Well, that's just going to light this on fire this time, I think. Oh, 
my goodness me. Let's go and grab some cobble. Alright. I don't have much more to hand in, so I might um, just cut here quickly, and I'll be back in a second. Alright, I'm back. Um, two more of these. Oh, that's not good. I'm surprised, surprised Dr. Trey always lasted for that. Anyway, one more. Ah! Ow. That hurt. Sorry. <laughs> Your boy. Alright, I do have a couple more um, quests to hand in, which will take a minute. And then I'll wrap up this episode, I think. It's a big skeleton over there. A huge skeleton. Alright. Let's throw these in. Oh, no, I'll throw them in a smelter and get some iron. Let's see the book. Alright, so we still had a few in galactic preparations to do. So I made the advanced wafer, which was just sitting already in there. I think I made it in the previous episode, never picked it up. I made a electric compressor which is just right there so the electric compressor electric is made like so a couple of steel anvil bronze nothing major so I made that I threw him up there and then it was just a case of making one compressed iron one copper tin steel bronze and aluminium Currently on my way to making these 31 heavy duty plates. I've got, I've done a bit of, I think I've done a bit of bronze, but the heavy duty plates for those who don't know. Require two steel, two aluminium and two bronze each. So, oh, for two, I guess. So I've started making those bits and pieces. I've got the bronze. I will need to do steel yet. Um, which is going to require a stack basically. Because it takes two ingots to make one. I believe from memory. Yeah, so it's done two at a time. Anywho, so I'll do that in between episodes and make that one up. Um, I did make the first part of this, the empty canister, but I haven't found any oil yet, so I will find oil in between episodes. And I'll also make this oxygen collector, which isn't anything out of the ordinary. If you watched the previous family series, we did the Galacticraft stuff on there and launched to the moon, which is why I'm not 100% worried about doing it in this series. I will probably just, as I've done here, just make the things off camera and and launch and perhaps start an episode from the moon or wherever it is I need to go. Once we start getting into the other planets and stuff, that's when I'll come back in with more recording. So we've got ten of them so far. Alrighty, let's open these bags and then we'll call it the wow. episode. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's wow. good. Glowing bread. Wow. wow. Eh? Wow. Actually got some pretty decent stuff in there. For once. Completely restores hunger. Okay. Uh yeah, let's throw all this stuff away. Two more bags. They can go in there. Wow. Know what I got? Wow. Ooh, that's helpful. Wow. A head and then a dark steel anvil. That will definitely come in handy 
I know that was a, um, a requirement for something. So yeah, I'm really going to wrap it up here. And I'll um, stumble over those words again. I'm going to wrap it up here. And please leave your comments in the section below. And I hope you join me for the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you later.